On October 21, 2024, the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy's Advanced Type 055 destroyer, the Xianyang, Hull No. 108, docked at Port Vila, Vanuatu. This deployment marks a significant milestone as it represents the first known arrival of this formidable class of warship in the South Pacific, emphasizing China's expanding naval presence in the region. The Type 055 destroyer is one of China's most powerful surface combatants, designed for versatile multi-mission roles that include air defense, anti-submarine warfare, and precision strikes against land targets. Equipped with sophisticated radar and missile systems, the Xianying enhances China's capabilities to project power beyond its traditional areas of influence, particularly amid rising tensions in the Asia-Pacific waters. This deployment is not merely a demonstration of military might. It underscores China's intent to secure its maritime interests while simultaneously strengthening ties with Pacific island nations like Vanuatu. By asserting its naval presence, China aims to create a strategic foothold in a region that has historically been dominated by Western powers. The relationship between China and Vanuatu has evolved significantly since the establishment of diplomatic ties in 1982. Over the years, this partnership has flourished through strong economic cooperation, infrastructural development, and diplomatic alignment. China has emerged as a key partner in Vanuatu's development initiatives, particularly through its Belt and Road Initiative BRI. Vanuatu's government has consistently supported China's One China policy, reaping the benefits of Chinese investments across various sectors. This collaboration has fostered economic growth and development in Vanuatu, but has also raised concerns among Western nations, especially Australia. The growing Chinese influence in the South Pacific has sparked speculation about a potential Chinese military presence in Vanuatu, though both nations have firmly denied such claims. China's strategy in the Pacific Islands is a multifaceted endeavor driven by geopolitical, economic, and military interests. The region, despite its relatively small population, holds strategic significance, offering China potential access routes and the ability to exert political influence over critical sea lanes. A cornerstone of China's approach involves providing economic and development aid through infrastructure projects and investments, closely tied to the BRI. Countries such as the Solomon Islands and Kiribati have benefited from Chinese funding, illustrating how China seeks to leverage its economic might to expand its influence in the region. The arrival of the Type 055 destroyer Xianyang in Vanuatu is more than a naval deployment. It signifies a broader strategy by China to cement its influence in the South Pacific. As China continues to enhance its military capabilities and strengthen ties with Pacific Island nations, the geopolitical landscape of the region is poised for significant transformation. This evolving dynamic warrants careful observation, as it may reshape the balance of power in the Asia-Pacific and beyond.